What is up, guys? Peter here, and welcome back to the Halloween Challenge. This is episode 6, and it is October 6th. In today's video, we'll be doing something a little different. Um, we'll be ranking the top 10 best FNAF games of all time, in my opinion. So if y'all disagree, uh, type in the comments and say, uh, what your list would be. And yeah, with that, um... Let's get straight into it. Number 10, Ruins. I will say that uh, Ruined is better than Security Breach, but Ruined is still like Security Breach in a way, where it's oh, pretty much a little too easy, and honestly, I only really died once to like a very dumb mistake in the game. It, it's way too easy, um... At least it's not as buggy as Security Breach, but it's still, it still isn't that great of a game. The character designs are all, all right at best. The story's all right. I mean, I mean, it's just an all right game. Number nine, Into the Pit, the newest game that came out about a month ago. Um, Into the Pit is pretty fun. It had a concept, but there's nothing really wrong with it, it's just, it's just, it's like, what it is kind of thing, where, um, I like the SNES look, it just, I don't know, I just, I don't really like the gameplay, honestly, you gotta survive and go to all these places, it's, it kinda doesn't really feel like FNAF, and, uh, honestly, it's kind of a, Alright game, the only reason it gets this high is probably, probably for its art style, it really probably the best art style out of any uh, FNAF game. Number 8, Sister Location. Now, I'm not a big fan of Sister Location, but it is still a pretty good game, can't lie. Um, the first time you play it, it's, it's a really good game the first time you play it. However, the only problem is when you play it again for like, like a replay, it's kind of boring and you kind of know what to do and everything is the same. But one thing I still would ne probably never get bored of in Sister Location is the custom lights. And especially the Impossible 1020, which is, well, impossible. <laughs> I don't know, I know it's like very hard and stuff. It's supposed to be like harder than 5020. Yeah, that's hard. <laughs> Anyways, number seven, FNAF 2. A lot of people do not like FNAF 2, and everyone has, like, a game out of the core four games that they hate. But honestly, FNAF 2 is, isn't really that bad. I mean, people over-exaggerate that the gameplay is bad, but honestly, I don't mind the gameplay. Um, I like the part where... Um, you gotta, like, pull down the mask, and you have to have good reflexes, it's just, kind of wish that not every character mechanic was there, and there was kind of a little more variety, like, like, Wizard Foxy and the puppet, like, a little more. Anyways, 6, FNAF 3. A lot of people just like FNAF 2, hate on FNAF 3. Honestly... This is probably my second flavor out of the core four. Since unlike one, two, and four, this one isn't a pattern. It's more like skill. You gotta like kind of use your brain. It's kind of like puzzle, kind of like a puzzle way. But yeah, it's and for your first playthrough. It's gonna be <laughs> very complicated. And I don't watch many YouTube tutorials to understand it. But once you understand it, it is easy to like keep going and. Really like it. Anyways, five. Hope Wanted One. In my opinion, Hope Wanted One is the only really good game that Steel Studios made so far. They might, they might have made, they might have, <laughs> might, they'll probably make it. Hopefully, a better one with Secrets of the Minute. But Hope Wanted One is very fun because it's the first time we saw um an app in VR and. FNAF and VR just, it just works, something about it just works, and, yeah, honestly, and all the mini-games you play, you gotta repair the people, you gotta be in the night, you gotta 
yeah, it's just great, and it's great unlike some other game help wanted to, where, uh, unlike, uh, crawling through the vent warning about mainly you have to do, uh, work out a food court. <laughs> I just don't like FNAF Help One One, but FNAF Help One, did I say I don't like FNAF Help One One? I mean, I don't like FNAF Help One and Two. I like Help One One. FNAF Help One and Two is just so, just so weird, honestly, in my opinion. Anyways, for FNAF Pizza Simulator, the sixth game, and many people consider this kind of the last game, even though it really isn't. Even the Pizza Simulator has some bad parts, but honestly, the really good parts make up for it. Like, bet probably the best ending in the game, the connection terminated ending, has all seven endings, which we haven't seen really. <laughs> multiple endings. We only really see multiple endings in like FNAF 3, and they don't really make a difference, but in Pizza Sim 7 different. <laughs> I really like that part of the gameplay. Alright, a lot of people hate it, but I don't have a really problem with it. Um, I love, one thing I like is the tycoon section. That, that's the best part. Because it's like, you pick your knights, you want no animatronics, you don't put anything down. <laughs> I mean, you can put some things down in the animatronics, but yeah. Kind of like pick your poison, and then that leads to your different endings and stuff. Anyways, number three. FNAF 1. The classic. No one really dislikes this game at all, but it, there was some things bad about it, however, that the nights are just way too long. If they were shorter, this would probably be much higher, but they're just kind of, you know, like nine minutes and nights kind of oof and all. Anyways, this started the whole FNAF, and yeah. Basically, there's not really much. It's really good. There's not much you can explain with it. Anyways, number two, FNAF UCN. I love FNAF UCN. A lot of people hate it. I say FNAF for everything in this place. But, um, honestly, it's a really good concept. You have 50 people. You kind of, like, pick your own night. So you kind of, like, make up your own night. It's like, be like five nights at, like, Bonnie's, and you have, like, a Bonnie thing, we got Wither Bonnie and Toy Bonnie, but it's, like, Bonnie's, <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's really cool, they only, like, I just wish there would be, like, maybe, like, a sequel to UCN, where there was, like, more characters, or, like, an add-on, I know they kind of, like, have it, I know that there's, like, this, the fan game of, like, 800 characters, but, not 800, <laughs> but, you know, yeah. Just like a couple more, maybe, maybe like come back and like add Yendo or someone like that, or maybe add like I don't know, bunch of people. Anyways, number one, the one that we all been waiting for, which is my favorite FNAF game of all time. I'll give you a heads up. I know I already say this, but a lot of people hate it. <laughs> That's really true, and. For this game, you either love it or you hate it. This game's either at your bottom top three, either at like the worst top, the three worst FNAF games, or it's either at the top three best. It's never in the middle, it's never anywhere else. And I think you know what I'm talking about, and it is FNAF World. I know you may not consider it a hard game. And I guess, I guess it really isn't a hard game either, though. It does have some scary moments like Foxy EXE, and well, that's about it. <laughs> and it does have some creepy little moments, but a lot's friendly, and I don't know, I just like it. It's a really good RPG, and most of the time, I don't really like RPGs. I don't really like Paper Mario. I mean, I like Pokemon, but I don't really like Paper Mario. Or really, the Mario RPGs or Mario Luigi, but. Something about this one works. Maybe it's just like the characters. And, you know, I don't know. And then, yeah, that's another thing I like about it. It has all the characters and yeah. All the playable characters. You can know, be like 8 bit William Mafter. You can be with Freddy. I just wish there was a sequel to this game that like added the fun times and like the Pizza Sin people. And maybe even the Glam Rocks and those guys. 
And yeah, that's gonna do it for my top 10 favorite, um, FNAF games of all time. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos and your hint for tomorrow's episode on the horror Halloween night is bald. Yeah, that's just, it's really, it's a really weird hint, but it's bald. And, you know, with that, I would see you all on the next one. Bye.